Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the new IntelliTrack tracker tool inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now there's a few ways you can have access to it. You can use it in the color page, you can use it in the fusion tab, and you can also use it in Fairlight to create a left and right panning auto track. This new IntelliTrack tracker is honestly, you know, incredible. It works really well. It gives you accurate tracking. But yeah, without me, you know, talking too much about it, let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve 19 and let me show you how it all works. So I've just got my clips here. As you can see, I've got this shot of a, uh, I guess a red pole. I'm not too sure exactly what it's called, but um, yeah, I've just got that. And then the next shot, I've got this jogger or this person walking where you can see a whole bunch of silver looking prawns or depending which part of the world you're from, it's called shrimp. But here in Australia, we call them prawns. Uh, just a little fun fact for you guys. So as we can see, this guy, he kind of walks behind the pole here and yeah, and so a little bit of the uh, prawns feet you know, crosses in front of his face. So yeah, as you can see, this might make a bit of a problem for tracking points, willets, for IntelliTrack. We'll soon find out, we'll get to that. And then um, the last clip here is just a low quality shot with some sound effects from Artlist where we can use IntelliTrack inside of Fairlight Audio, which is incredible. So let's just have a quick play of this. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be showing you how to do this in the color tab, the fusion tab, and also the Fairlight audio tab. So let's just jump into this first clip here and let's go over to the color tab. So this is our clip here. So to use the IntelliTrack inside of the color tab, um, it's pretty simple to do. You just go over to your tracker. Now it's gonna look familiar. Um, I've actually created the DaVinci Resolve tracking tutorial a couple years ago now so if you want to check that out i go more in depth into the other trackers today we're just going to use the IntelliTrack. so you can just hover down here you've got your uh, window tracker you've got your stabilizer and you've got your fx you'll have access to IntelliTrack in the window one so if you go down here cloud tracker point tracker IntelliTrack, or you can go over to fx and you have access to point tracker and IntelliTrack. but for this one i'm just going to show you how to do it using the window tracker so let's just go over to IntelliTrack. And let's just find a point here that we want to track. So, so this here is a red pole that we want to track. So now, since we're in the window tracker, we need to make a window. So let's just create a quick ellipse. So before I use IntelliTrack, I just want to go over to Cloud Tracker. And then I'm just going to track it. And you'll see how the Cloud Tracker works. So if you, you know, Go back and forth you can see with the cloud tracker it tries to stick to this but because we've got parallax it um, struggles a little bit uh, this is not what we want um, and then i'm going to go over to intellitrack and we're going to create a point so now since i've clicked this down here it's created a blue crosshair so we're just going to click and drag that and i'm just going to put it on this high contrast point just so it works really well and then I'm just going to hit track back and forward. And as you can see, it works really fast. And also it's created um, a really accurate tracking point. So our mask is hovering over it. So if you wanted to, you could change the exposure, whole bunch of effects, you know, if you want to add a blur. In this video, I'm just going to go over to another new feature, which I've actually got a tutorial over here. It's color slice and I'm just going to go to the red channel just because this is quite an intense red. So let's just adjust the hue. We just want to change the color. So let's just make it, let's make it a green color. So yeah, so I'm actually liking this green. So now when I play it back, I've turned this red pole into a green pole. So that's how you use the IntelliTrack tracker inside of the color tab. So now let's just go back to the edit tab and we're going to go over to this second clip that I've got here. And uh, let's go over to the Fusion tab and let's just bring this over here. So, so we want to create a new tracking point. So let's go uh, Shift Space. I've already got Tracker. So we just make sure that we've typed in Tracker and we've got this up here. So by default, the IntelliTrack will come up automatically. So you can add multiple trackers. You can add a point tracker if you want to. So when we go to our live 
preview here, you can see that it's created in IntelliTrack one point. We're just gonna simply click and drag that over to our subject. So I'm just tracking from about here. Now we're just going to track back and forward and just see how well this works. So you can watch it happen down here so we can see how it interacts with this pole. And it's done a really good job at keeping the tracking point exactly where it needs to. So let's just see that. So now we've got a really nice track on this person here, even though there is a pole obscuring where the tracking point is. And it's done a really nice job at interpreting the movements that's what the AI feature is doing is it's kind of filling in those sort of gaps where it's getting blocked. So it's doing a smart thing where it's tracking it all. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now let's just add some text for the fun of it. To just add text, you can just uh, go up to here, click and drag it. And I'm just going to get the out point of the text into the green arrow here, which is our foreground layer. Yeah, so as you can see, nothing's come up when I've um, put the text on. Now to fix that, all you need to do is just go over to tracker. We're gonna go over to operation and we're going to go to operation where it says none, just click on that and go to match move. Then now our text has popped up on the screen and it is stuck to our tracking point. You can of course move that around where, uh, let's just say we go to transform. We just bring that up a bit. And then let's just change the text from add to username to something like jogger, even though he's just walking. So now when we track it, you can see that the text over here is stuck to our tracking point and it's done an incredible job inside of the fusion tab. Now, of course, you can do a lot more inside of Fusion. So this is just to basically show you how the IntelliTrack tracker works. So you can get really creative with the tracker inside of the Fusion tab because the Fusion tab is designed for visual effects and motion graphics. So um, get super creative with it. But um, let's just move on to the next one. So I'm going to go back to the edit page. Yeah, so let's just go to our last clip here. And as you can see, this has some audio and we want to track this car going from right to left, we want the audio to pan right from left. So you can use the IntelliTrack method to create some immersive sound. So yeah, let's go over to the Fairlight tab. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we have our clip selected. I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the first frame. Let's just do an in and out point. And then the next thing you wanna do is to start the tracking is you wanna go over to floating window make sure we've got our controls selected and then we want to choose auto right and left and then we want to get our tracking point and we want to move it onto the object that we want to track so that's the front end of this car here and i'm just going to click track always got to make sure that you have your audio one track selected and then track it or that message will pop up so now we can go back and forth and we can see how well it's panned from left to right. And as you can see over here, the pan, you can see that it is moving from right to left, roughly where it's been tracked. And then if you look at the bus one here, you can see that the left and right channel has different levels. So that means it has worked. So hopefully you're watching this with headphones because uh, let's play it back now so you can actually hear it back. So that's basically it for this video. As you can see, the IntelliTrack Tracker is a very powerful new tool inside of DaVinci Resolve 19. And I can see myself using the IntelliTrack Tracker pretty much for everything now. Uh, I can see that it's super useful in the color page, the fusion page, and also the Fairlight page, which honestly, I'm very excited about it working in the Fairlight page just because I can now create immersive left and right panning audio tracks without having to manually adjust keyframes by myself. So that's a really neat feature that DaVinci Resolve has added into its latest software update. You honestly don't need to use Point Tracker anymore. It's so much more accurate. It figures out movement for you. You don't have to worry about contrast points and it losing itself. It does a really good job at using AI, figuring out where 
the subject should be. So yeah, I can pretty much see myself using this a lot more inside of Fairlight. It's really going to step up everyone's editing game using IntelliTrack. So um, yeah, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.